Hey guys, it's Elite Camera Woman. I will finally be analyzing episode 73, part 1. I haven't done an analysis in so long, but this time I will get serious. Jokes and simping aside, I will also change my voice this time to get serious. Let's go. The episode begins with the death of the Plunger Man, which occurred in episode 70, and we follow all this from the perspective of the camera woman. Here, if we notice when he is burning, we can see small green sparks that indicate the secret agent is having full control over Plunger Man. The death of two friends is again shown before our eyes, and I even almost cried seeing this again. At some point, the man's plunger begins to burn, but we have already seen this, but we did not see the green glow from below, which refers us to the secret agent, and it seems that it was he who killed the plunger because he saw and knows too much. At some point, the memories of the camera woman which are associated with the plunger man passed before our eyes. Here is the moment when he almost died, as well as the moments of battles with him, as well as the moment when the speaker man Titan was infected. We also see the moment when the plunger lost his leg and, together with the scientist, watched the modernization of the camera Titan. But at some point, we apparently have a very strange memory from an ordinary camera. The events take place on September 16, 1985. Here we see a strange company of four people. A girl approaches Guy and tells him to show him the class in the camera, but he turns away but still. Then he shows a finger up and smiles, after which a blue beam appears behind the glass and the recording ends. It's obvious that it looks like the Alliance agent's camera used to be ordinary people, because if we put everything together here, we see the woman's camera as well as the plunger man and the scientist. But I don't know the second person. Maybe it's one of the other agents, right? Your theories about the person with white pants in the comments. But it looks like these guys were working on a project to create mind transfer, and they managed to transfer the owl's mind into the chambers, because these events where they all happened together took place a very long time ago, and they simply would not have lived to see these years. It seems that before all the agents were ordinary people, and at some point they uploaded their minds into robots. Guys, this is just crazy, but there is too much evidence to confirm this. We watched all this from a tablet in which records related to the past were apparently saved. Camera woman and she goes into battle with other agents after the events of episode 70. She gets out of the ship and immediately destroys Skibidi helicopters, and then lands right on a Skibidi toilet from a recent flush and begins to mock him very much. She shoots him many times in the head of the toilet and then finishes him off with her plunger which she took as a sign of memory of her friend. By the way, at the time of the battle with the toilet in the background, you can see Mr. Boom himself, who is watching our girl, and she seems to have interested him in something what is not yet clear. But I hope he doesn't kill her, just like our old friend whom he burned also. Now we understand how her gun works, since we were shown that it marks all the toilets and then shoots at everyone at once using some kind of locator. Please note that our girl is really powerful, Two beaten agents show her class and we move on. But then, a hybrid appears who apparently went to the gym from scratch and was very successful in this. But then a scientist appears, and at that moment I was in real shock since he was killed before our eyes. And then she begins to destroy her friends. But as it turned out, it was just his suit and the TV woman took possession of it and was able to understand how it works. We turn around and realize that four containers are moving behind us, although there were only two or three of them. I'm already confused, but it looks like there are four of them. Probably soon they will show us another batch of containers. Apparently, G-Man decided to take all the scientist technologies with him from the base at once. TV Woman manages to demolish one of them and it falls to the ground. And an old man appears who is very upset that someone is controlling his old friend. Then the old man comes to his senses and destroys his friend's old suit. And it looks like TV Woman will burn. But I think she succeeded in Get Out, and she's fine. Now the G-Man pays attention to us, and one of the toilets returned the container. But it doesn't seem to last for long as my favorite speaker, Titan, arrived, who is really cool at this moment. He is already tired of fighting, but he has to be cooled. Then the rest of the Titans join the battle, and a dialogue ensues between the old man and TV man Titan. The old man says you have no idea what is coming, to which the big guy replied that you will not live to see this moment. This episode ends. It seems the old man was talking about Astro, or about someone who will help him. But in, in any case, in the next episode he will feel very bad because he was surrounded alone, 
And now he will have to come up with a new plan and quickly leave. This is just a crazy episode, and I need another part to discuss everything in much more detail. But so far, I have only noticed these details, and if you notice something, write me all the details in the comments. Soon I will release many theories on episode 73. And here is when my analysis concludes. I hope you enjoyed and bye. Elite Camera Woman is out. <laughs>